Hello everybody and welcome back to the farm. Now I'm sure I just saw Dennis's pickup truck head down here. So I'm just going to have a wander down. Yes, I did. There it is. Uh, I have no idea why he's just come down into the yard. Hang on, he's turning some kind of uh, horse box or something. Horse trailer. Dennis, what's going on here? Hang on, it's a horse. Oh, Darwin. Oh, I hope you like it. Dennis, what is all this? You're delivering a horse. Aye. Now I know what I did was wrong. And I know it doesn't replace Bob. I'm, uh, I'm trying to fix things. Well, obviously it's not Bob, but it's very generous of you. Thank you, Dennis. Although, you might be giving it to the wrong person. I didn't own Bob. Oh, blimey. Are you saying I have to buy... Two horses? I don't know. Um, maybe you should offer this to the owners of Bob? Well, I suppose I could try. Right, well, I'll go and speak to them. Right, okay, so Dennis is taking the horse back to the owners of Bob. Hopefully, they agree to keep it here. It did look like a very nice horse. Well, I think I did the right thing there, because if I had just accepted it, the actual owners of Bob would have been really disappointed, so if they accept Dennis's offer to keep the horse and I can look after it, that would be great. Um, I think they appreciate that it, it wasn't really anybody's fault in particular, so I think everything's going to be okay, I would hope. Anyway, um, yes, what we are going to look at now is the, uh, the Renault tractor just around the corner, and I will show you the bidding page for it. You can see here that it's sold for £900. So there was actually one more bid which put it up another £100. Um, so somebody at some point is going to come and collect it. I'm not too sure who it is yet but there you go. £900 back very soon for the Renault tractor. I guess it's not all too bad. It seems quite good. Anyway um, yeah also in two days time this is going to be filled in. I've got everything booked in. It's going to be £2,000 worth of rubble and soil to put into here. Another expense which I, I really didn't want but at least it'll be filled in. Then we can drill it, put the uh, grass seed back in and we'll be able to hopefully mow the field as normal next year with a bit of luck so yeah that's going to be happening I probably won't vlog the actual tipping of the soil and stuff but what I will do is vlog the uh, the finishing off, putting the seed in and stuff uh, so that will be on Tuesday I think okay so that's a quite an eventful morning uh, I think probably what I should do is look into Hang on, what's that? It's an, it's an incredibly tall tractor. <laughs> it's James with the uh, homemade sprayer. Goodness me, look at that. He actually made it. I can't believe it. Oh, it's got good brakes too. I have never seen anything like that before. That is incredible. That, that truly is the definition of a homemade sprayer. Converting a tractor into self-propelled sprayer wow that is <laughs> that is absolutely brilliant so you like it do you i don't know how you've done that but that is just one of the best things i've seen um i'm not accepting this for free how much do i owe you if you don't want it for free give me whatever you feel is appropriate honestly i have no idea what it's worth it's got to be worth three thousand though at least call it two thousand Okay, there we go. £2,000. I'm going to have to give this a go. It certainly feels high up. Wow, this is... Uh, well, it feels, to begin with, just like driving a normal vintage tractor, but a long way off the ground. This is quite something. Look, I'm looking down on the Fiat tractor. So, how do we fit the spray boom? Because I can see that there isn't actually spray boom on here but we do have these things on the back some pipes or something uh, this is uh, interesting I just found a lever and it just unfolds it's brilliant okay let me just uh, jump off and I'll show you it again just spin round oh gotta be careful on the uh, hills turning too quickly we are a long way up there although when these are full of water when these tanks are full of water it should help ballast it lower down um, but yep yeah, that is it that is our self propelled sprayer Crikey, that now all I need to do is uh, have a crop ready to try it out on. 
Wow. So this is going to be interesting. Where do I keep it? It's probably too tall for the shed. Let's just head back over here. So I think my sprayer problems have all been solved. Oh, better not drive past this with the boom out. I wouldn't want to instantly break it. And it really is a new tractor. It's like new old stock sort of thing. I don't know how long it's been in that crate for. But it looks like its first job ever is to be converted into a sprayer. That is brilliant. So yeah, we're going to use this in a future vlog. As soon as I have these uh, fields growing, well this one here, it should germinate very soon and I can, I can spray it. So it should be before winter. I want to get another uh, layer of uh, fertilizer put on before winter if I can do. I can't stop looking at it. It's just so unique. It looks like it works well. Definitely. Now, I don't know if I should ask this, but do you want me to move that manure out of your farmyard for you? Oh, if you can do, that'd be great. I don't have a muck spreader, but I do have a telehandler and a tractor, which you're welcome to use. Okay, so I'm just going to take James back to his farm. And, well, he's been very kind again. He's allowed me to use his tractor, so we'll take the tractor over to the dealership, and I will then rent a manure spreader. I don't know what size tractor it is. Uh, James, what size is it? Oh, it's a big one. 400 horsepower. All oh, right, so, okay. Uh, looks like we can go for something fairly big then. Okay, we're almost at the farm. Yeah, he was just saying that I can take all of the manure. He doesn't need any of it for any fields or anything. He's got his own fertilizer. Okay, right. So, our parts here out of the way. There we go. Now, he's got much more of his machinery here now. This is the 8740S. I think that's the biggest tractor from Massey Ferguson. And he's also got the Challenger, so he's got plenty of big machinery. He was saying as well that the telehandler was around the back there. So yeah, I really have absolutely no idea what sort of size muck spreader we should get. It doesn't need to be huge, because I don't... Well... It looks like a fairly decent sized pile of manure, but it's not huge. I think we should go fairly standard. This is a big tractor though. For a smaller muck spreader. But yeah, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it should be fine. It's technically not free manure. I still have to pay because I'm paying to rent the machine. But it helps James out. It gets the fly tip, I guess you could call it, out of his yard. Right. Let's hope they have something. Right, back to the uh, the farm. They did have something, but it wasn't cheap. I just had to pay over, well, it was over a thousand pounds to rent this Marshall spreader. It seems like a good spreader, but it only cost me a thousand pounds to rent the drill with the fertilizer and the seed. So I don't know why they're quite so expensive with this, but uh, yeah, like I say, I'm not paying for the manure itself, so I guess it's a pretty good deal. We're going to spread this onto the grass field. Obviously not where the sinkhole is. Ah, oh, it's such a comfortable tractor to be driving. If only I could afford something newer. <laughs> the tracks which I have are good, but you don't have the comforts. Anyway, oh, there's the tally handler. Right, um, so where should I put it? It's quite a tight yard. This. I found it very tight when we had that lorry turn up to take the grain away. When Peter was running the place. Okay, so let's just go over here. Nice tally handler. A little bit dirty. Lever. Um, and a grab bucket. Probably won't need the grab. Uh, right, so the key is in. Very trusting. Right, so there's um, there's probably several. There's definitely several tons here. 
It's a fairly decent amount. I just don't know who would dump it. It seems such a waste. Because uh, it's really good for the land. Anyway. I will continue. And then we'll head over to the farm when the spreader is full. And we'll start spreading it on the field. That is the first load full. So it looks like it's going to be about two full loads. Still got a full bucket there, still got a bit of a pile here. So let's jump back into the tractor and we'll go over to the field. I don't know if it'll be enough to cover the whole field, but yeah, with a bit of luck it will be. Even if it doesn't, it's all extra. Now as I'm facing this way, we'll actually go out this way. It'll be much easier. I don't know why the for sale sign is still there. I would imagine They'll be coming around fairly soon to remove them. I think it does take them a few weeks to remove the for sale sign, or the sold sign it should be, but looks like it did process fairly quickly, or under offer. It's the sign it could have been. Um, do I stop by at the pub? I'm definitely going here at some point. See who the new owners are. No, I probably shouldn't turn up with a, <laughs> a load of manure. That wouldn't go down too well. I forgot to mention, but I actually do have a gate coming for the uh, entrance to this track. Just so that nobody actually comes down here when they shouldn't be coming down here, really. Bit of extra security. So, I'm hoping I'll be able to feature that in the vlog on Tuesday, if it arrives in time. Now, I don't want to be spreading that in manure. That tractor, although it won't matter too much because it's already <laughs> not very good. But it won't be very good for anybody who wants to strip it down all the nuts and bolts covered in poop. Right, well, off we go. It's not a huge working width, but it should still be quite good. Let's just see how much of the field we can cover. That's yeah, going well. Not too bad at all. And I think actually this tractor is just right for it. Right, well here we are, back at the farm for the final load, and I think it's all going to fit. I can't see any reason why that wouldn't fit. Anyway, we'll soon find out. We have the final piece, it's a very small bit which is left on the ground there. Okay, so the yard is clean, nice and tidy. We are pretty much full. Let's just see if it fits. Almost. Very close. Okay, so in that case, actually is this a pretty sure it's the grass field just over here. Yep, okay, but well, I'll just boom out and then just spread it. There we go. Right, okay, so I'll put this back where it came from. And we're going to spread the final bit. And there is actually enough as well to cover the whole field, which is really good. There we go. So, back into the tractor, and we'll finish the job. Should be quick and easy.
Now the Cedra which I used yesterday needs to be returned as well, so I'll do that probably just after this vlog. I've not forgotten. It will be going. Okay, so this is the final area, just here. Oh, oh, don't want to go in there. Yeah, so not much left to cover. And there's a bit left over here as well, but we have plenty. I'll just keep spreading it. We are almost finished. And there we go. We're done. Right, so we've got two things to return to the dealership. And we'll get that done. Oh, oh, it's Dennis again. Dennis, you're back with the horse. Aye, they're very happy and they're not going to take legal action. Anyway, here's the animal. What's it going to be called? I don't know, Dennis. It's a male horse, isn't it? Aye, I've had a look. I think I will let my viewers decide. Please post down below.